Hopefully I'm bringing back a segment that I did in the past where I give reviews but instead of random content, I'm going to be focusing more on Korean stuff. So today's recommendation is the Netflix K-drama Extracurricular. Now Netflix in my opinion has rather hit and miss when it comes to K-dramas. Either the beginning was too hyped and it gave a terrible ending, or the story just dragged on a bit too long and it became stale. So with that being said, Extracurricular is what I've been looking for in the series for a long time. Without spoiling too much, the story revolves around our main protagonist, a high school student who runs a social dating app with special services, where he serves as the middleman and gives protection to the girls. Doing this earns him a hefty sum of money, in which he has carefully calculated to earn just enough to get through college and live a normal life, because his parents have abandoned him. His whole operation goes south when he meets this girl and eventually gets into a lot of trouble. Extracurricular is a 10 episode drama which brings you on a very depressing journey as he tries his best to attain a normal life but continuously lands himself in deeper shit. So what I love about it more than it being different is that it's not afraid to bring you on this roller coaster of emotions and makes you want to strap in to see the car crash you know. So the writing is pretty amazing, it's almost like pretty artistic to a certain sense. It's also very short and precise, it's just 10 episodes so you know they're gonna give you a lot of fillers or like random characters that don't matter and it probably means you can binge watch this in 2 days. So the thing I look forward to in a lot of series is the ability for it to give me an ending that's very satisfying and like worthy the amount of emotions I invested into it. And this drama certainly does not disappoint me. So even though the ending is pretty abrupt, it still gave me a kind of closure on a deeper level that the story is finished and we are free to interpret it however we want to. So in my opinion, this should be more hype than Crash Landing, which kind of came out at the same time. I think because of that, it kind of got buried under a lot of people's radars or it just like overshadowed it a little bit. And the theme is also a little bit dark, so it's like not very heartwarming as Crash Landing, you know? So check it out if you haven't, and if you have anything to share about it, please let me know. And they also make these really cute content on the soon, so it's nice to see them IRL too. Bye bye. Okay, so no gaming content this week because apparently my PC is a goddamn potato. Every time I try to screen record or record a game file, right, there's a chance of the file being corrupted or just the whole file being unplayable. So I code to give more K recommendations in the future because I feel very... Uh, <laughs> I feel very strongly about K content. Yeah. And I will see you guys on Sunday.